Aloha, this is Megan from Vitality Wellness and I'm back with another Tushy Tuesday video. So today I want to show you some exercises that bring together not only your abdominal muscles and your leg muscles, but also your tush so that you're getting a lot done in a short amount of time. So we're going to start by separating our feet about hip width apart and I'll turn to the side so you can see me. But you're going to just take a few deep breaths to bring your mind into your body and then you're going to bend your knees a little bit. And I want you to place your hands on your hips, on the frontal hip bones, so the bones on the front of your pelvis, and push them back a little bit. Okay, so that action allows you to hinge over. So basically you're just sticking your butt out as far back as you can. That allows you to move initially from your hip joint so that you're not just rounding into your upper back. So you push your hips back and you sit back a little bit and squat. So you're gonna inhale here and lift your chest up have your hands on your legs now and then as you exhale pull your belly in and up and around your back keep your knees bent and now go again move your hips back first and your chest up and then exhale lift your belly and around your back so do two more breathe in stick your butt out exhale pull your butt under and then one more inhale strict sticking your butt out exhale pull your belly in and up and around your back so go back to the arched back. So you're gonna stick your butt out behind you and now pull your belly up a little bit and lift your chest up. So here you're gonna sit your hips back just a little bit more and take your arms out in front of you. So if you've done any Bikram yoga, you might recognize this as the chair pose, but this is also a really powerful strengthening muscle activation for the lower body. Traditionally, chair pose has our legs together, but as you can see, I have my feet apart. So you're gonna sit down. So this is great for all of our friends on the mainland or any of us that travel to the mainland to go and get some snow fun, skiing, snowboarding, etc. So you're gonna sit your butt back and come down just a little lower. Roll your shoulders back and then bring your arms in alongside your body. Ready? Go again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, press them back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, press them back. So if you were skiing, you wouldn't be looking down at your skis. You wanna look down the mountain. So keep your chest up, keep your head up, and breathe, breathing in, breathing out. So you're sitting down low, so you're sticking your butt out behind you. You've got your chest up, your weight is in your heels. We're gonna do three more. And sit your butt back a little bit more, two, and then one. Now you're gonna inhale, exhale, stand all the way up, stretch your arms up, reach your arms up, and then breathe in, and bring your arms down, good. So bring your hands back to your hips, and you're gonna try again, but this time you're gonna Inhale and push your butt back without bending your knees very much. So now we're at a nice long spine, but my legs are a little bit straighter than they were before. So we're gonna have our arms in alongside us. Take another breath and stretch your left foot back behind you and take a breath. So you're gonna activate your leg from your heel. So push your heel back and lift your leg up. Tap it to the mat and then lift it back up. So breathe in, breathe out. Keep your chest lifted and now you're gonna try 10 of these on each leg. So we'll go to the other leg. Lift up from your belly, your chest. Stick your butt out again. So we're never allowing our back to round. We wanna keep our chest lifted to keep the neutral curves of our spine. So we'll take our right leg back and we're gonna do the 10 lifts on the other side. So you can always touch your foot down, but try to not put too much weight in it. So keep most of your weight on your left foot. So you're gonna lift 10 times. Place two feet on the ground and then stand all the way up Stretch your arms up, and then exhale, bring your arms back down. Do it again, breathe in, and then breathe out. Good, one more time. Just catching your breath, breathing in, and then breathing out. Good, okay? So you're gonna go back to that ski squat. So you're gonna take your feet about hip width apart, rolling back through your shoulders. You're gonna sit your butt back, so if you need to, you can always put your hands back on your hips. So you push your butt back, and this time you are bending your knees. So you come down as low as you comfortably can, and then stretch your arms out in front of you and take another breath. Good, so breathe here. So you're gonna stay low. See if you can squat down just a little lower without rounding your upper back. So your belly pulls in, your chest is lifted, and you're breathing. Good, so now you're gonna combine the two movements. So take a breath in, and as you come away from the ground, you're gonna take your leg back behind you, so you're lifting your legs. So two feet on the ground when you squat and then other leg back. So down and up, down and up. So this kind of combines another winter sport. It looks a little bit like skating. Down and up, down and up. So notice when I stand up, 
I'm all the way up on my standing leg. I get all the way up. Breathing in, breathing out. Abs are nice and tight. So you're gonna do 20 and then you're gonna get down low again. Squat into your chair. Legs are burning a little bit. Shoulders roll back. Tummy is lifted, weight is in your heels. And you just sit there feeling fiery, strong legs. Pull your tummy in a little bit more. So you hold that for 20 seconds and then you go back for another 20. Back for another 20, okay? So you're gonna do that another 20 times. You keep going, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> just kidding. So you're gonna stand up after you've done 20 and then go back to the hinging action. So you're gonna move your butt back again so you tilt over. Bring your feet a little closer together. And then we're gonna take our leg back. So start with the left leg again. Shoulders roll back, arms go back. So this time, we're gonna lift our leg again, but see if we can incorporate our warrior pose. So this is warrior three, or Virabhadrasana three. So you're gonna lean over, lift your leg, hold it for a second, place your foot down, and then lean over, lift, tap your foot down, lean over, lift, tap your foot down. So you don't ever really come all the way back up. You kind of just stay in the lean position. So your standing leg, your front leg, will always be a little bit bent. So you can just kind of go push off your back foot and then tap, push off your back foot and then tap. So you want to keep your chest lifted and you're initiating the movement by shifting your weight forward and lifting the back leg. So it's kind of like a teeter-totter action. By lifting your back leg, your torso will lean forward. So aim to do 15 to 20 of those on each leg. And then you have a nice little lower body sequence that you can throw into your leg exercise sequence or just bust it out in the middle of the day if you need a little afternoon pick me up. Because remember that when we spend a lot of time seated, then our glutes are in a stretched position. So if they stay in that stretch position, they start to get a little bit weak and they can develop what's called gluteal amnesia i.e. they forget what to do and so we want to make sure that we're using them throughout the day so by getting up and just doing a few simple movements to really activate these muscles and maintain their strength and maintain their quality of supporting our pelvis helping to power our legs helping to support our spinal column so many reasons why they are really important muscle group not just from an aesthetic point of view but they are very important from a functional point of view so go through that little sequence. You can do it a few times through if you have the time or even just once through is a great way to start to get your heart rate up and activate the muscles all the way down your body pretty much from your ribs to your toes and have an awesome day. Please feel free to reach out with any questions that you might have and thank you for giving yourself a few moments to boost your vitality today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Aloha, namaste.